Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to discuss are the tools that we'll be using um, for the Academy. All right, so um, it is an online course. Um, you all logged into Zoom. That is one of the tools that we will be using. Most of you are probably fairly familiar with Zoom at the moment, uh, given the current situation. Um, so I'm not going to kind of get into that too much. Um, hopefully you're able to use it. And if there are any questions, uh, do let us know. But I'm going to talk about kind of the specific tools that we will be using to help us facilitate um, the Academy itself. All right. So the first tool that I wanted to talk about is um, Moodle. And hopefully you've had a chance to sign up. But if you haven't, it's OK. I'm going to go through the process now. Um, just to make sure that everyone is kind of comfortable with it and, um, you know, they can access this. So the link is here and I'll put it in the chat just in case, uh, you know. Um, so you don't have to type it out yourself, um, just copy it from there. Um, but uh, we shared some instructions on how to sign up for this and I will go over those instructions again. Um, just to make sure, sorry, my bottom toolbar keeps popping up here, um, just to make sure that uh, you can all access the material. So this is where we will be posting all the course material, and you will actually see already, um, after you log in for the first time, the first five days of material is already available um, if you want to have a look and, and review that. Um, so we will try to kind of keep, uh, give you as much uh, material as we can, um, so you can, you know, if you want to just have a look at it and review anything prior to the sessions. Um, you, you're more than welcome to do so. Okay. Um, we will also talk about the attendance. So if you remember um, earlier in the session, I discussed that attendance is part of your overall grade. Um, so you're able to fill in the attendance. We'll talk about that uh, and, and we'll go through one example today. Um, we'll all do it together just so you can kind of see how it's done. Um, and that way you can fill it in going forward um, over the next couple of days. Um, all the recordings um, for the sessions They'll be available um, for, for Zoom um, within Moodle within about one to two hours um, after the session is complete. And I'll actually talk about how to access those um, as well. Um, and then um, if you can use the instructions you've received to sign up for Moodle, um, uh, the Slack platform I'll get into in a moment. Many of you have joined the Slack platform already. Um, so if you have, that's great. Um, if you have not, then um, you, know, you have the opportunity to kind of uh, do so um, now. So, just kind of getting into the, the Moodle here. So I'm just gonna log out, okay? So when you access this uh, page, training.dhis2.org, okay? This is the, the website link that I've just put, put in the chat. Um, and it's the same one that's in your instructions that have been given to you, all right? So if you've not received the instructions or you can't find the instructions, um, let, us, uh, let us know in the chat for now and, and someone will try to help you. Um, but that information is posted on Slack. Most of you, I see there's about 100 and, 50 people in that Slack. So hopefully, um, if you have a chance to join already, um, you're able to kind of find the instructions there. But if not, then you know we'll make sure to get them to you so you can sign up. Okay, and I'm going to go through the process now in any case. Um, and you can just follow along if you've not been able to sign up. So in order to access the material and everything um, on the platform, um, you need an account. So if you never signed into this um, system before, training.dhis2.org, this is a completely new website and you've never logged in before, you will need to create an account before you can actually log in, okay? Um, so in order to do that, you just click on new account and you would follow the details um, in order to create your new account, okay? Um, that detail is in the instructions themselves. So if I just go up to the instructions, I, I already have several accounts, so I, I can't really go through the process of creating a new one. Um, but uh, when you create your account, you just fill in your details um, exactly um, as what Moodle is asking you for, and you will receive a confirmation email, okay? So whichever email you use to sign up um, for your account, you will receive a confirmation email in your inbox, okay? You can click on the link um, to confirm your email address, and that will take you in, um, basically, um, to the Moodle platform. You'll be able to log in and use those details um, that you've signed up with, okay? So just remember to fill in these details. So if I use this email, for example, um, okay. so I use this email. <coughs> no, excuse me. So if I use this email, that's where the email will be sent um, in order for me to confirm um, my registration. Um, it's not going to work because I, I've already used this email to sign up. 
um, for Moodle. Um, but once you do that, you go through the process of signing up, you'll be able to log in. All right. So I'll get out of that. Okay. Now, once you've logged in, so uh, either by creating a new account, I'll just go to the front page because this is a different page than you initially see. Okay. Um, from that front page, if you already do have an account or if you've created your account successfully, okay, and then you log in, um, you might see it at the front, depending on kind of everyone has their own settings um, for this dashboard, but where you typically would be able to find it if you don't see it at the front, you go to the left side of this site home, okay, just click on that, um, then you'll be able to access it from here. So just select 2022 Academies, Level 1 Academies, and then this is the only one um, present, so it's just the beginning of the year, so we only have this one posted. Um, so it should be pretty easy to find. All right. So once again, from the homepage, 2022 Academies, Level 1 Academies, and then the Tracker Configuration Academy. All right. So then from here, you would be able to uh, select this. Um, it says unenroll me, but this person is enrolled. Um, but you will have the option to enroll yourself. Okay. So I can actually just go through the process here. Um, just so you can, like, oh, let me unenroll myself here. So, right, so let's start, select my academy. And you will have this option, enroll me in this course. Okay, um, you're able to self-enroll um, in the course um, in order to kind of engage with all the various materials. So if I were to select this option, enroll me in this course, okay. it'll give you a prompt to confirm your enrollment. You select enroll me. And then now you're enrolled in the course. It'll give you a notification here. You enrolled in the course. Um, and if you scroll down, you'll, you'll see um, various material. All right. So I just want to make sure that uh, people are able to kind of access this initially. We can then walk through, uh, you know, how Moodle works and everything. Um, you can see a couple of the pieces of information that we shared already um, are available. And there's obviously a lot more because there's other material um, that we see um, here that is available to you. Um, but uh, I just want to make sure everyone can access that because this is, you know, where all the material is going to be posted, where you'll submit your assignments if there are any quizzes or, um, you know, the exam, you know, you'll be performing all of that uh, within this platform. Um, so we just want to make sure you can all um, access that. So if you haven't signed up for this yet, um, please go through the instructions or, you know, please ask us questions right now and we're kind of happy to assist you. Um, in, in uh, kind of walking through this and making sure you can access all of the various course content. All right, so we'll just give everyone a moment. And if you've not been able to access this, or if you're having difficulty, please, please do let us know and we'll help you with that, okay? So I'm just gonna actually pause this. Just going to check how people are doing um, with the registration. Just to see how many people we have. So you're not stuck waiting around forever. All right, so we've got about 60 people currently enrolled um, in the course. Um, there's about 90 plus participants in the call, six of which are facilitators, instructors. So. Um, if we could get the remaining individuals who would like to engage with that part of the course. Um, I, I know some of you are just kind of acting as observers uh, and that's completely fine. Um, but for those of you who want to engage with the material and everything, um, you know, please, uh, please kind of confirm your um, enrollment by accessing the course. I can see some people just, just logged in 30 seconds ago, one minute ago. So um, I guess some of you have created your account now successfully, which is great to see. Um, but uh, yeah, for anyone who hasn't or is having trouble, we'll just give them a moment um, to finalize the registration. And then we'll proceed to the next part. see some questions about the registration. So we'll just try and clarify that for everyone. 
So I'm just going to leave the link up online in case you're not able to access it. Start screen sharing again. Okay, so you're accessing this link here, training.dhis2.org. I think it's um, one of the instructors has just pasted that in there for you again, or, or put that in the chat for you again. And we'll just give uh, the final kind of uh, individuals a, a moment to register um, before we proceed. Okay, so um, let's just discuss, you know, how everything is kind of broken up um, and how you can kind of access all the various uh, materials um, for the course. So we kind of have this uh, first part up here, which is just this general heading, and um, there's different components um, that are available. We have the agenda, which you've already received. Um, it's just here's reference. Um, there's instructions to access the Zoom recordings, and I'll, I'll talk about that in a moment. There's links to all the Zoom meetings. Um, there's links to the DHIS2 systems. Um, we haven't uh, talked about that yet. We will talk about that um, after we go through Moodle and everything like that. So I would appreciate if you just kind of uh, stick to task before we kind of move on to the next step, all right? Um, then underneath this, um, you will see the, the various sessions um, are, are, are find kind of various components um, of the um, agenda that we'll be, we will discuss on, on different days. Um, we have the attendance. Um, you might need to refresh your screen um, in order to see this. Um, if you don't see it already, in case you logged in, um, you know, a couple of minutes uh, ago before I added that component in. Um, then we have uh, feedback. So there's kind of um, daily feedback, very short feedback, um, and then kind of overall feedback at the end of the academy that we would really appreciate you guys to fill in. All the materials from the course introduction. Um, so the stuff that we're going through today, including all, all the learning objectives and everything like that. Um, and then all the other sessions. So let's just go into one of these uh, blocks um, so you can kind of see um, how everything um, can be accessed. All right, so if I go into the course intro, for example, which is all of today's sessions, um, we have the Academy Overview, which is the presentation we just went over previously, um, tools for the Academy, and this is just a link to the Mentimeter. It'll just open it up in a new browser, browser window. So for example, if I select one of these, Academy Overview, for example, um, I'll have the presentation embedded um, in the bottom and you know I can work through that. Um, I can open it full screen um, if I use the uh, uh, some of the, um, this three dot action menu button, for example, I can just open it up if I wanna follow along at any given time um, and I can download the presentation as well. All right, so all of the material that we're presenting to you um, will be available for you to access, um, you know, through this platform, um, either via, you know, um, these embedded documents, or if it's something else, uh, you know, we can we can look over some other documents, for example, um, that might look a little bit different. Right. So. Okay. Um, and if I just go back to the main page, and and look at one of the other sessions, so some of the other sessions are broken up in different ways. So for example, if I uh, go into this designing a tracker program, you'll have a mix of presentations. Um, you'll have some other files that you can also download, right? So if I click on one of these, um, this is just a PDF, as you can see by the, the icon here. Um, it'll just download that to my computer and open it up directly, well, depending on your settings on your computer, but it'll save this to your, your downloads folder, wherever that happens to be, um, and you can open that up, okay? So all the materials that we will be presenting um, over you know, the whole academy will be available here. All right, so you can download everything. Um, you can have a look at things. Um, you know, we, we try to be as visible with this and hopefully this provides you with a fair amount of resources. Um, if you are kind of having uh, trouble um, finding those, we will also show you, um, I think elements of the documentation um, that are, you know, very helpful when working with tracker programs um, because we won't go over every combination and permutation of everything you can possibly do, right? Um, and this is really to give you that baseline so you can understand where that is. And also, you know, you can, it'll help you a lot in, in terms of learning, you know, specifics for what you want to do in the future. All right. So I'll go back here. Um, so, so that's kind of how the, all the material is broken up session by session. Um, the first five days, as I mentioned here, is already available here. You can go through all of that and have a look. You can download all that material um, if you would like um, for the first five days. Um, we will add the other material um, over the course of the you know, regarding next week, uh, a bit closer to that time frame. All right. Um, this information here, as I mentioned, uh, about accessing the Zoom recordings, I think this is very useful. So if I go to the Zoom meeting uh, link here, okay, um, I will see all the meetings um, that are available. 
And you know, if I if I just want to join it this way, you, you might have it in your calendar, for example, but uh, you can also join it this way. Um, and the session will start um, at that given time. Um, and you can just join, join Zoom that way. There's also a tab for cloud recordings, all right? So um, the way we're recording things, you know, just uploads them basically um, right after the session is done. It takes about one or two hours to process. Um, so once um, that is done, um, you will be able to access them here. Now we will be uploading them to YouTube eventually, but that might take a little bit of extra time. Um, YouTube will be, be kind of the permanent um, location um, where they will be stored and we'll share that information with you um, when those are uploaded to that platform. Um, but for now, you know, this allows you kind of immediate access. So within about one to two hours, um, if you go back, you know, select the Zoom meeting link from within Moodle, select the cloud recording tabs. Now there's nothing here right now because we're just recording everything um, at the moment. This is the first time we're kind of doing it. But once this session is over in about one to two hours, if you check back um, here, you'll be able to, you know, access the video. So you can view them online in your web browser. You can also download them to your desktop. Um, if you want to, or laptop, if you want to download those uh, those videos um, to your own device and then view them there, okay? Um, so all of that is, is possible using this uh, this tool here. All right. If I go back and tap here. Um, let's also discuss the um, uh, attendance and feedback, okay? So we use a, a system for attendance. Uh, basically, just uh, we provide you every day uh, with a different term or word. Um, and we ask you to fill that in. So if I just go back. So our first word for today is Columbo, okay? So what we do with this is we would go back to our, our Moodle system and we would enter this in the attendance. And this just kind of, it's not case sensitive or anything like that, so don't worry. But uh, the idea is, you know, uh, you have to be present in the session or watch the video to see the word of the day. Um, and we use this word of the day to kind of uh, take attendance. And you have to do this yourself, right? Like there's no problem from us necessarily. We'll try to remind you, of course. But for example, this, this learner um, that I'm logged in with myself, if I go to the attendance, and then you can see here, there's a, a box here for attendance. I can just select that. Um, it's, it's marked as a quiz, but it's, it's not really a quiz. It's just kind of taking the information for your attendance. Um, you're allowed several attempts in case you spell it wrong or something um, the first time around. Okay, and each attendance is just worth, uh, you know, there's 10 days and each one is worth one mark. Okay, so I'll click attempt quiz now and you have to enter the word of the day um, in this box. So if I enter it in, finish my attempt, submit, and it's uh, correct. Okay, so then I've marked my attendance for today um, by, by filling this in in the word of the day, okay? So we'll make sure to share this in the chat. Uh, we'll show it on screen, um, you know, several times um, during this, the sessions, but uh, every day, you know, whether you watch the video offline, so maybe you can't attend the session, completely fine, right? You guys are all working and have other commitments. Um, so if you watch the material, um, you, you will, we will present the word of the day um, during that uh, component. Um, if you, uh, you know, if you're a part of the session, then we'll be showing you the word of the day as well every day. And you just have to kind of take that, note that down somewhere and just fill it in um, whenever you can. All right. Um, so you just fill that in um, every day and that's how we, we take the attendance. All right. If there are any questions about that as we're going through it, uh, um, let us know. The first day, you know, we've done it, you know, I've done it with you just to show you what, what to do. Um, but you just fill it in um, so you can uh, fill it in that way. All right. And we'll be presenting these to you every day. We won't be going through it with you every day like we did today, um, but we'll be presenting the word to you and you'll be able to fill it in um, for the various sessions. Um, these are not available in advance. Um, these will be available um, for each day, okay? If you didn't see that, uh, if you didn't see this box, like I mentioned, um, just reload the page um, and it should pop up for you, all right? And I think there are some questions about this, but... Uh, Okay, so yeah, if you cannot see this on your screen, um, to just reload your page, okay? Oh, sorry, my internet's real fast, but the, the, it did reload, but it was just very quick. Um, but uh, just click on the reload button on your browser or control R or whatever, you know, depending on your browser. Um, just reload the page and hopefully you will see this box. So if you, if you then see this box, um, you'll see the attendance, right? And I'll just leave that up um, and allow you all a chance um, to fill that in, okay? So the word of today is for is Colombo, okay? And uh, unfortunately, we can't travel to these uh, these beautiful locations uh, at the moment, but uh, hopefully in the future, we'll be able to do so. Yeah. 
Um, so I think one person is maybe having trouble accessing the course. I'm not sure if you've been able to enroll. Um, maybe maybe someone can help them just to make sure they're enrolled and everything. So I see some people have been able to since get it um, since we um, since they reloaded and everything like that. But I, I think some people are still having some trouble. So we'll just make sure to work through that first. Right. And remember, because uh, since some of you are just accessing it now. Yeah, so you would go from the main dashboard um, or the main page in this tracker configuration course, go to attendance, and then fill it in that way by following the prompts. Right? And you'll have to do this every day. And we'll, we'll, we'll share the word and give you a prompt and give you a reminder. Okay? And if you're watching the video offline um, after the session, um, same thing, you can go and fill it in anyway. So I think some of you have had some trouble enrolling or are not sure where to do that. So I'm just going to do it again, actually. So I'm going to start the process over, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'll log out even, okay? So log in with the account that you've made, okay? Um, either by creating a new account, if you don't have one already, or, or by logging in with the account you have, okay? After I log in, I have to enroll in the course before I can do anything. Okay, if I don't enroll, if I just look at the page, I'm not going to be able to interact, you know, I'll be able to download the material, but I won't be able to do any quizzes, submit any assignments, fill in the attendance. Okay, so if I'm in this page and I don't see the course, completely fine, um, most people won't, but you go to site home, or you follow the link that Pam would have put, put in the chat. Okay, um, 2022 DHIS2 Academies, Level 1 Academies, and then the Tracker Configuration Academy will be there. It's the only one that's there for 2022, okay? So once I access this one, now, and I will see everything, but uh, you know, I won't really, really be able to interact with anything as I should because I'm not enrolled. So from this front page, click on the gear icon and you have to enroll in the course, okay? This allows us to keep track of your attendance, your assignments, everything that you're kind of um, working through in the course, okay? So once I do this, I enroll myself in the course. Um, I confirm my enrollment by clicking Enroll Me. And now it'll give me a prompt, you are enrolled in this course. Okay, once I've done that, then I can go ahead, you know, the, you know fill in the attendance, for example, attempt quizzes later on, you know, whatever it is that I want to do. Okay, but if I'm not enrolled, I won't be able to interact with any of those elements the way I should. Okay. So, so make sure that after you access the course, if you're just accessing the front page, uh, go to this gear icon. Now it says unenroll me, but uh, the initial option was enroll me in this course. So you can enroll yourself um, and make sure you can access all of the material. And so you should see this prompt before you start to try to attempt kind of interacting with everything in the course.
There was a question about the feedback. It is, it is not mandatory. You don't have to fill it in. Um, we would really appreciate, obviously, if you did. Um, but, uh, you know, um, you don't have to do it. Uh, there's no, it's not contributing towards your grade or anything like that in any way. Um, it's completely anonymous, so we don't even know who submitted it. Um, you know, just to allow you to be as critical um, in your response as possible if you found, you know, something that there was room for improvement for. Um, so you don't have to fill it in every day, um, but we would certainly appreciate it. Okay, so once you're enrolled, okay, and you want to fill in the attendance, go to attendance, and I'll have this person, um, I click on the attendance again, there's day one here. As the days progress, you see day two, day three, day four, day five, um, et cetera, um, displayed on the screen. Today's day one. Okay, I've, I've already done this, but I, I'll just reattempt it, okay? Um, you'll have an option to attempt the quiz and you just enter in the word of the day um, here um, in, the, in this box. Okay, and then you, you finish your attempt, you submit the quiz and you're, you're graded right away, um, whether or not it's correct. Um, it's not case sensitive um, or anything like that. And you have multiple attempts in case you spell it wrong, um, for example. Okay. So if I submit it, I'll be graded right away. Yeah, this is the correct answer. I've, I've received my attendance grade for today. So you start off from, from here, from the front page. So, so regarding the feedback, um, once again, that'll pop up day by day. So here's the, the feedback for the first day, okay? Um, once again, this is not mandatory, okay? You don't have to fill it in. It doesn't contribute to your grade um, in any way. Um, it just allows us to maybe, you know, adjust our approach. If something wasn't working well, if you felt, you know, it's, it's a chance for you to kind of let us know um, what you feel can be improved or what might need to be modified or your kind of initial reaction um, to anything that you've experienced. Um, and it allows us to kind of work on this, um, you know, and make sure we can kind of interact with you and engage that way. We might not be able to, you know, talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, um, each of you during the sessions um, to get that kind of feedback from you. So we, we would appreciate, obviously, if you fill this in, um, but, but it's not contributing to your grades. So you don't have to, okay? Um, but the feedback itself is just a, the the daily ones are very short, um, very short forms. So it's just a couple questions, multiple choice, um, and ask you you know how we might be able to improve um, anything that we've looked at today. All right, um, and this is just repeated for for most of the days until the final feedback form. So once again, um, all the materials, all the quizzes, everything will be on here um, and you'll be able to access it through this platform. And I think most of you have been able to, to kind of access it now, um, just looking at it uh, from a separate view. Um, you've been able to access it now and, and kind of um, hopefully have an understanding of, of how to you know, navigate it. So it's a very easy platform to use, but if there are any questions about that, uh, you know, keep, keep them coming and then we'll try to help you through that. Okay, um, so, so the next item after Moodle um, that I wanted to discuss, because um, many of you are there, if you're not, uh, keep your questions coming and our, our instructors will make sure that you're able to access the course and the materials, all right? Um, the other thing um, is there is a Slack platform available. Now, I think many of you are on here, if not most of you. Um, some of you have been asking questions here already. Um, it's great to see. Um, you can use this at any time both during and after the academy, okay? So um, many of my colleagues, it's, it's late for them, okay? So they might have to sign off, but uh, I will be around uh, monitoring this um, after the academy um, sessions is over as well. Um, and, you know, if there are any questions about assignments, if there are any questions about the content, um, you know, anything of that nature um, that we haven't been able to address um, during the session itself, or if you want to ask any questions during the session um, and you want it more permanent, because you can ask questions in Zoom, but you know those those go away when once we close the session, right? So it can be often hard to follow up um, with those, right? So this is a more permanent place. It will you know keep that information intact um, and allow us to address um, anything 
um, that you're kind of working with um, at the moment. All right. Um, so I can see some of you have, have been able to fill or I've been asking about the attendance um, and received a couple of responses. Um, and, and if there are, are, are any other questions like that, you know, the questions will become more advanced, I guess, as, as the sessions kind of go forward. Right. Um, so, so you'll be able to kind of talk to us here directly um, if there are any problems. Um, and I do recommend, uh, you know, the Zoom chat is there and it's, it's a good kind of mechanism for, for immediate attention. But, uh, you know, we, we lose that Zoom chat once the session is closed. Um, I mean, it's saved in terms of a log, but we can't really respond uh, to any of those comments or queries um, once the Zoom is closed. So, so this is a better place often to ask questions. Um, you, you were sent out an invitation um, for this. So if you haven't received an invitation, if this looks completely alien to you and you're not really sure um, what I'm showing you um, on my screen right now, uh, just let us know in Zoom for now, obviously, because you wouldn't have access to Slack. Um, and we will um, find a way to make sure you can connect to this platform um, to ask us questions. All right. So since most of you have kind of already joined here, I'm not going to kind of discuss this um, in too much detail in terms of in terms of how to join, you receive the invitation. But if you haven't been able to receive the invitation, that's what I did want to highlight. Um, if you've not seen this at all, you're not really sure, you, you, maybe the invitation was lost somewhere in your inbox, um, you can let us know in Zoom and then someone will kind of um, help you with that as well. Okay, um, you can ask your questions here. We'll make announcements about um, any, um, you know, reminders about assignments or, um, you know, uh, other types of, you know, if we were to maybe modify the agenda based on feedback, any types of things like that, um, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure to announce. So in this announcements channel, there is quite a bit of good detail that Alice has shared, for example, all the sign up instructions, all the agenda, um, all the Zoom links and everything. Um, so you'll be able to see that as well. Um, and then here you can just ask any questions like you have been already about uh, accessing the material, work through the material, the content itself, um, et cetera. And it's a nice permanent place for us to kind of talk um, about any questions you might have about the content, all right? All right, so the next uh, tools that we'll be using that I wanted to discuss are DHIS2 systems, right? So that's the whole point of this academy is that we actually go through uh, material and examples where you'll be able to interact with tracker programs and learn about configuration, all right? So this slide is up there, but since you have access to Moodle, it's gonna be a lot easier to either access the slide deck for Moodle because you can't click on your screen on, on Zoom here um, or access the links um, in the, uh, in the kind of um, general box, okay? So if I were to go to the course intro, for example, and look at the tools for Academy um, presentation and just go to that uh, slide here, I can access the links directly from here, for example, okay? And it's a good idea to bookmark these links. We'll be using them quite a bit. Um, there's two different systems. One is the, the, the demo system. Let's just go back to my presentation so it's bigger, okay? Um, one is the demo system. In this demo system, um, it, it has all the programs already configured. It also has some data. Um, you have some limited authority, at least to start this week. You will get more authority in the system later on and when you do some other stuff. Um, and you need to self-register. I'll go over that process in a moment. Um, then we have the other system called Customize, okay? And this is where you're going to configure your own metadata, right? So you'll make your own tracker program. Um, you'll add to it to be some of the other configuration topics um, that we will discuss. All right, so anytime we're referring to these two systems, um, you know, these are the ones that we're actually talking about, okay? And you can ask some easiest um, via Moodle, either through the presentation or if you go back to the front page, there are links directly here, the demo instance and the config or customization um, instance. Okay, so you don't have to remember the links necessarily, um, but if I just click on the demo one, for example, I'll open it up, it'll take me right to the demo page. Okay, and in order to get started, okay, uh, you don't have an account on, on these systems yet. Okay, you need to perform the same process on both. Okay, you need to select create an account and go through the steps to create your account. So I'll, I'll create one right now just to walk through this a little bit more. If I select the green create an account button. Okay, and I just enter details, right? So I'll just enter some details. my username, okay. And then um, there are some rules for the password, okay? And this is the same for both systems, this process, okay? It needs to be at least eight characters long. 
have one uppercase letter, one number, and one special character. Okay. So within those eight characters, this doesn't mean you have to have eight plus these three. These three characters can be contained within that uh, those eight character limit. All right. So I'll just create a password here. Um, if I if I don't uh, follow one of those rules, it'll let me know. Okay. So for example, here I don't uh, a special character is for example any of these you know the symbols on your your number on top of your number button or you know depending on your keyboard layout I, I think so we have different languages your keyboard layout might be different but, but those are what the special characters are referring to okay let me type it again no. so once you've entered all the the details here um just select create okay, and it'll log you in um, and you won't really have access to the information you need right now. Um, we're just going to have to do a couple extra steps on our end um, in order to kind of finalize um, the registration process for this system. But make sure you can log in, uh, make sure you can, you know, see the apps uh, menu um, and everything like that. Okay. And then we'll, we'll talk about the system more. You won't really be able to access everything you need yet, um, but tomorrow you will be able to. Okay. And then the second system. So this was the demo system. Okay. And then we have the second one. I'll just go back to Moodle. I can click on the link or access it however I need. Go through the same process. Okay, create an account, enter in the same details. Okay, follow the same uh, principles. And, and this one actually you'll have uh, proper access. Okay, and uh, it's a bit redundant, but you know you have completely different um, permissions and there's completely different configurations um, for these two systems, right? So what you can do here. In this configuration system that I'm signing up for, you can basically do you know everything. You can create all the metadata you need and everything like that. All right, um, I'll just shorten. Make sure, I can use my new login. Okay, so you enter the details, click on create, and this will log you in, and you can see already you have access to other apps you don't necessarily have access to um, on the other system, for example, maintenance, where we'll be performing the bulk of our work um, in this app. All right. So um, if I, and if I go there, I will see some metadata, um, for example, for those of you who are familiar. We'll go over this in more detail, but just so you can kind of get a better sense, um, you know, oh, sorry, I don't want to do it. And I have an example for, I have this program that's already configured that I can see as an example. All right. So I'm going to leave the links up, okay? And I'm going to give everyone a moment just to register for these two systems, all right? And as I mentioned, the probably easier, you know, we can uh, put the links in Zoom, um, in, in Slack, um, but probably easiest for you to access them via Moodle, either from the, the general tab at the front or from within the presentation that we can just click on them. I would suggest bookmarking them. Uh, we'll be using them quite, quite frequently over the next uh, 10 days or so, okay? So just give everyone a moment to register. And if there are any questions, ask us on uh, Slack or, or, yeah, I guess Slack is better just so you can share the response with everybody. And you can ask us on Zoom and we will reply, but uh, uh, Slack will, this is a bit better for this instance, all right? And let us know if you're having any, any trouble um, accessing the instances, uh, the, 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 the databases, um, if you're not able to register, um, you know, sometimes some countries have blocks in place and they can't access the link we shared, for example. I don't always account for that because um, I don't really know <laughs> which countries are blocking what. Um, but uh, you can let us know if you're not able to access the links, for example, um, or, or log in at all. All right, and I'll just give everyone a moment um, to, to kind of work through this. All right, so um, I see many, many of you have had a chance to create your accounts in, in both of the systems. Um, so like I said, just, uh, you know, the links are in Moodle, um, but uh, we will be using them quite a bit um, as we get into, you know, the actual content of the course over the next coming days. Um, so, so yeah, uh, we'll be alternating between them too um, quite frequently. Hopefully it's not going to be too confusing or frustrating for everybody. Um, um, some tips, especially if you're working between these two systems and you have them both open, um, maybe use different programs or uh, one um, private window and one regular window so they're not interfering with each other. We can discuss that more as we go and get into the sessions. Um, um, but yeah, just uh, keep these uh, keep these links. 
um, bookmark them if you want, um, but they're available on, on Moodle. And, and you know, um, it looks like many of you have self-registered already. Um, if you're having any trouble with that, though, uh, please feel free um, to ask us any questions though, about that, OK? Great. OK, and Slack we've talked about. Um, so uh, yeah, I think Brian also mentioned you can introduce yourself if you've not yet done so, um, just so we have a bit of more personal information on you yourself rather than this kind of aggregate information collected through the, the Mentimeter, okay? Um, and if you're having any problems, just let us know through, through Zoom because you won't have access to, to Slack, of course, okay? And that covers most of the tools that we'll be dealing with in this academy, right? So we have uh, Moodle, we have Zoom, um, which you guys are all logged in, we have Slack and we have the DHIS2 instances, okay? So if you're not able to access um, any of those, having trouble logging in, um, accessing the website links, um, seeing the material in Moodle, anything like that, um, please let us know so we can help you because we'll be using all of that to kind of help us um, work through all the material um, through the various sessions, okay? All right, so um, as you guys are working through that, um, we've actually gone through uh, most of the, the stuff that we wanted to get through today. It's, you know, it's a shorter day um, about all the logistics, accessing everything. We wanna make sure everyone's up to speed in terms of being able to access everything. Um, but uh, if, if Alice is still here, I might just hand it over to her um, so she can arrange for the, the group photo. Okay. 